There's a lot of controversy regarding the use of flashlights to discern paranormal activity. And um, that's why we took a closer look at, uh, at that issue in this issue of MysteriousDestinationsMagazine.com. It'll actually be the first in a series of articles we'll be doing about equipment that people use to explore the unknown and the unexplained. And um, we figured we'd start with flashlights because of the controversy surrounding them and because um, we had uh, some flashlight use at the Johnny Cash House in Jamaica. Um, following, we have uh, three examples of using the flashlight in conjunction uh, with another device, in this case, dowsing rods. Um, and all of these took place uh, during our 2012 uh, overnight explore at the Tipsy Butler Bed and Breakfast in Maine, uh, which we like to call Visiting Myrtle because it's the ghost of Myrtle Gascoigne who was so active around that house. Uh, she uh, lived there, died there, and uh, still basically likes to run the show from what we can tell. Um, but you can see uh, from these examples that we are uh, trying to use an array of equipment along with the flashlight um, in order to discern this paranormal activity. Um, in this first example, um, you'll notice that the flashlight takes a pass, for lack of a better term, on the first question and uh, seems to respond to the second question with uh, the dowsing rods crossing over almost simultaneously. Uh, check that out and see what you think and we'll be back in a minute. Now was your first husband good to you? Could you cross the rods for yes or turn the flashlight on for yes? Okay, what about your second husband? Was he good to you? Can you cross the rods for yes or turn the flashlight on for yes? Oh, that's a definite yes. Yeah. Okay, well thank you Myrtle. In the next video, uh, the rods cross in apparent response to a question and then there's a delayed ignition of the light bulb in the flashlight. Um, is it a response? Is, the, the, is something responding through the flashlight or is a, a false positive? Uh, once again, we'll let you decide. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Sarah that you feel there's a problem with the roof and the chimney. Um, is that what you want us to do? Please cross the rods for yes or turn the light on. Look at that. It's a big yes. So okay. She's very worried about that. Okay. Well, Myrtle, we will definitely tell Sarah about that. And, um... Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, and we hope you can worry about it a little bit less. I'm sure Sarah and you will probably have a conversation about it sometime soon. In the next video, we see ignition of the flashlight bulb um, without a question being posed. Um, so here we have to decide, is, is, it, is this a response to the announcement that the guests will be staying overnight with Myrtle, or once again a false positive? And uh, as always, we'll let you decide on that one too. Okay, well all of these folks are going to be spending the night here, and um, they'll all have one of those devices um, like I have on the bed there. And um, as you recall from last year, um, those devices are pretty effective at waking people up and letting them know that you're there. Okay. <laughs> <Remember that. laughs> okay, well that was fun. You met Mary last year and she's kind of a nice lady. Um, so now you can meet other people this year too as well. So, three examples of the flashlight at work and these are three examples taken from what was a very active evening um, at the Tipsy Butler um, in Newcastle, Maine where uh, Myrtle still resides. Um, and, and resides there uh, um, in a very positive way. The innkeepers there have a very positive relationship with her. Um, it may be noteworthy that in 2011, uh, the year prior to the, uh, um, the videos you've just seen, um, we didn't discern a lot of activity. Um, in fact, there was uh, virtually no flashlight activity. And um, uh, some EMF activity, some noteworthy EMF activity, but it wasn't like uh, 2012 when we were pretty, pretty much visiting Myrtle the, uh, the minute we got in and, and all night long. Um, we visit Myrtle every year at the Tipsy Butler um, on the Saturday closest to Halloween, which this year, 2013, is Saturday, October 26th.
Um, if you're going to be in Maine at that time and you'd like to join us, um, contact us as soon as possible because there's only four rooms at the Tipsy Butler and they go pretty fast uh, for visiting Myrtle. And you can always contact us through our Contact Us button right at MysteriousDestinationsMagazine.com. Back to flashlights. Um, if you're not already reading it, make sure you check out our article on uh, Tools of the Trade, Flashlights, on MysteriousDestinationsMagazine.com. We take a close look at the controversy surrounding flashlights, and we find that that controversy is not without foundation. Um, so check it out. Um, there's a, a lot of talk on the web about using flashlights for paranormal exploration, and um, we hope we've boiled it all down in that one article for you.